effort to stand for what he believed in. Look at the hypocrisy. I look at what we're up against, you know. His action to sit was later lifted to taking a knee. By the way. He always says, make America great again. Well, America has never been great for people of color. It's because people hijack it with nonsense. You saw those comments you made about the gas chamber. I was talking about media bias. You and your family have hurt a lot of people and put a lot of people through a lot of pain. No, that's something that needs to be addressed. Let's make America great for the first time. In response to Nike's controversial new ad featuring Colin Kaepernick, the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., replicated the ad, except... His father's face was placed under the message. Colin Kaepernick, the exiled former quarterback, has been a target of the right wing since he first took a knee. Well, actually, not since he first took a knee, rather since they weaponized his movement like Donald Trump Jr.'s ridiculous and unfounded attacks like this you're seeing right here on number seven. Akin to the president of the United States, Donald Trump Jr. is desperate for attention. An awkward public speaker, Junior was fed with a golden spoon throughout his childhood, but hated his father. One afternoon with Junior at UPenn, Trump went to pick up his son and take him to a ball game. Don Jr. opened the door wearing a Yankee jersey without saying a word. His father slapped him across the face, knocking him to the floor in front of all of his classmates. He simply said, put on a suit and meet me outside and close the door. Is he inventing a new hair slicking technology or <laughs> sitting on a tree stump daydreaming about a new endangered species to shoot? Who knows? Trump Jr. could afford to be a drunk in college, a ski bum in Colorado, then fall into the Trump family business. Colin Kaepernick? When kids would ask me, who's your real mother? I knew exactly what they meant. And I must admit, there were times that I would be at a loss for words. The guy who was given up for adoption at just five weeks old, his biological father, unknown to this day, who left his mother when discovering her pregnancy and grew up in a city where 1.45% of its citizens are black. The guy who threw no hitters in baseball, a standout football player, even had his own flu game in high school. That guy couldn't buy a scholarship offer at the time. Cap worked. Trump Jr., on the other hand, gifted the role of advisor on Celebrity Apprentice, where he followed in his father's footsteps in more ways than one. Ex-wife Vanessa Trump filed for a divorce from Trump Jr. around the time she was pregnant with their third child after he cheated on her in that advisor role with Apprentice contestant Aubrey O'Day, formerly of the band Danity Kane. Colin Kaepernick was told he could only play safety at the University of Nevada, where he would finally earn a scholarship. He was given one shot when quarterback Nick Graziano went off the field injured against Fresno State. Cap triumphed with a 384-yard four-touchdown performance. While Junior was getting wasted with his arm in a sling from falling over plastered, Colin Kaepernick witnessed firsthand the disenfranchisement in the college setting. He would get the racist treatment from white people because he was a black quarterback, and some people gave him the racist treatment because he was raised by a white family. So where does he fit in all this recalled one teammate. Trump Jr., while enrolled at Wharton, had a reputation for getting into drunken do you have any idea who I am fights per the New Yorker. While in college, when hearing of an older woman's husband's death, saying she could no longer afford Nevada football tickets, Colin Kaepernick, whose family had 24 season tickets, asked if he could buy the widow a single ticket. We're probably the only NCAA compliance office in the country that had to check to see if it was okay for a player to give a fan something, said the associate AD. Kaepernick studied history, mentored the youth, and had his moment of sacrifice, seeing dead bodies in the streets of America at the hands of police. Those whose job titles are to protect and serve, instead protecting their own status quo. Donald Trump Jr. is wanting to meet and exceed those expectations that his father had regarding women, explains Dr. Michael Brustein, a New York-based psychologist. Jr. wants to follow in his father's footsteps. Colin Kaepernick wants to follow in Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, Charles Hamilton Houston, John Lewis, Tommy Smith, 
and John Carlos. Choose your fighter wisely, my friends.